On July 20th, 1969, one of the most phenomenal events made its way into the history books, when the Apollo 11 completed its historic mission to the moon. While the most brilliant minds helped to make sure that the Eagle had landed, computers also played a significant role. The guidance system that navigated the spacecraft was one of the earliest forms of modern computing. That same computer, the one that helped America's lunar dreams become a reality, took up the space of an entire room and had one ten thousandth the computing power of the thing that almost every one of you carry in your pockets today, a smartphone. Computer hardware and software have had such a dramatic evolution that what was once only used to power rockets now shapes the entire way our world functions. Think about your day. Did you grab a snack, turn on your TV, take a drive in your car? Computers were along for the ride, literally. Computers are everywhere. So here's the rundown. By the end of this course, you'll understand how computers work and get a grasp of the building blocks of IT. We're gonna cover the basics of how computer hardware performs calculations, and we're gonna actually build a computer from the ground up. We'll look at how operating systems control and interact with hardware. We'll take a look at the internet and get a better understanding of how computers talk to each other. We'll also spend time learning about how applications and programs tie all of this together and let humans interact with these systems. Finally, we'll cover important lessons on problem solving with computers and cover the communication skills that are so critical when interacting with others in IT. Whether you're looking for a job in the IT industry or you just want to learn how your laptop connects to the internet, understanding how computers work at every level can help you in your day-to-day -day life and in the workplace. But first, let's take a step way, way back, back to where it all began, even before the Apollo 11 mission touched down, so you can understand how and why we use computers today. 